Usually, I am a very calm person. But, somehow, I got into this place. First off, I was run away from the police that apparently saw me murder people. Which, <laughs> I don't remember killing anybody. I, I'm a very innocent person, and now I'm in a situation where I'm being followed by a mouse, to been Candleman, Chef, or I don't even know what's going on, and it's driving me insane. <sighs> I have no clue what's going on, and I don't even know how I got here. All I know is that there's these strange creatures, and I don't know how to get out of here. And it's really, really driving me insane. <coughs> 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 oh, sorry. Hello, buddy. Kudix is here. And for this video, this is a speed paint of an OC of mine. Whoop, whoop. So at the start of this video, there was obviously a voice changer being used. I was experimenting. With the voice changer in this program that I use um, and I think it came out okay in a way I would change the voice changer in a way like the voice of the character but the only reason I use a voice changer is to change up my character's voice not using my original voice in a way so giving her a unique voice so as you can see this is an OC called Shadow Ghost from the series slash game slash, slash uh, game called Gregory Horror Show. Now, Gregory Horror Show is based on this hotel which hunts down people's souls, spirits, the things are inside of them that keeps them alive, sort of thing. Basically, this hotel has creatures that want to steal that from you by either killing you or driving you insane. Basically, kind of the summary, but it might be a bit vague because I am not very good with memories and it's a long time I have actually seen the show. All I remember is my OC. <laughs> so, anyways, let's begin. So, Shadow Ghost um, is one of my OCs. She is, I would say, around either 2019 or... 22 sort of age. I haven't decided the age yet. So that's a brilliant start. So Shadow Ghost um, is, um, let's say, kind of like an adult sort of thing, but she goes to college slash university. Haven't decided which one. And she's like studying. She's a good student there. And she carries on with life as like anyone else's. But then all of a sudden, she came back to either her dorm and there was police and basically the police there has basically said that you're going to jail because she is getting framed for murder so basically someone has seen her quote unquote her uh, with a bunch of people well not a bunch but like let's say two and she just stabbed them or bite them or I don't even know how this killer kills. So, um, yeah. So, she's basically game framed and she knows that she's very innocent, pure hearted, never gets angry. She never gets upset in the way, well, she does get sad, but never angry, frustrated, uh, stressed out, or go insane, so to speak. But now, because she's getting framed, these old emotions comes up saying that she defend herself saying that she hasn't done anything like that she is too innocent she's she's not a murderer but they would never believe her so now she has to quit everything she has built up and end up running away from this place that doesn't believe her so let's say a couple of months have passed and she still doesn't understand why they think it was her. Maybe because now she is running away, but she's running away out of fear because she knows that she is innocent and she thought that they were getting the wrong person and maybe they, one day they will figure out who the actual killer was. So after those couple of months, 
One day it was raining, she found a abandoned hotel and because she was so tired, she rarely gets sleep, she rarely relaxes, so she ends up going into this abandoned hotel, choosing a room and just fall asleep flat out, pass out. And then when she wakes up, when she wakes up, the whole hotel was busy, even though she remembers it being abandoned. People like her are in that situation now. So basically, she is in the world of Gregory Arjo. So with that said, she is now facing all the creatures, Hell's Kitchen, I think, uh, Catherine, the nurse, the cactus two cactuses I can't remember the names and some others now now they're all chasing her trying to grab her soul make her go insane and all of that but she's not alone in this world because there's other people like her in that situation now this is going to be based on uh, her world not like with other OCs because you know um, I don't want to include other OCs into this so, <clears throat> she's basically in this world now, and she knows for a fact that for some reason that she, let's say a couple of weeks now, she has noticed that all the creatures kind of stopped chasing her, but she's, they still chase her in such a way, and all the people, so well some kind of some of them, but not so much, still goes up to her and towards her sort of thing. But not as many as before was going up to her and you know see if she needs help and sort of thing and kind of working together they kind of like excluded her kind of kind of from them so now she feels alone now like everyone else part part of the game as well you have neko zombie so let's say she's like one of the first people to find Neko Zombie, and Neko Zombie explains Gregory and everyone's plans of what is happening and why this is happening. And then that's when Shadow Ghost was trying to find out how she could get out of here and go back home in such a way because she wouldn't care if she got arrested now because this place would get her killed. <laughs> After like probably a couple of days, she's well throughout her all throughout her whole stay. Sorry, my words keep mucking up. With, without her whole days staying there, she basically has noticed something that isn't right, and she thought it was a hotel. Basically, every time she would be in this one room or another room. Or being chased sort of thing for some reason she doesn't remember when she blacked out because the minute it went black and she wakes up I guess if it was a dream she's in a different area different room or a different place so to speak and she's realizing that she's possibly is passing out and for some reason that all well, the creatures hasn't killed her or you know so to speak but someone has been probably moving her but she wasn't quite sure this it keeps on happening and she tries to communicate with everyone saying like has anyone been moving me when I pass out sort of thing and literally everyone has still secluded her from them as if she was just some type of monster like one of them she still doesn't understand it until she went up to Neko Zombie so now there there would be two situations where Neko Zombie wouldn't know but this is when he does know Neko Zombie took close kept a close eye on Shadow Ghosts and noticed that she wasn't normal like the others because instead she has an inner demon that only gets triggered by either angry, by being anger, being angered, yes, being angered, frustrated, or go insane. The three things that she never felt. 
possibly now understanding after Neko Zombie explained this to her after she asked him about it. She now understands that she was feeling them, but she doesn't remember them due to something taking control before she feels it. So, so to speak. So now she is aware that actually she might have already have killed somebody, but it wasn't her, but it was this, uh, in a demon. And everything started to make sense ever since she got there into the hotel. So now this confused girl is now understanding of what's kind of going on with her life. And that maybe she would never go back because of this inner demon. Maybe now she probably under kind of understand of why she's here because she was like them. Hence why they're rarely chasing her, but also chasing her because some of them, like nearly all of them, don't like her except from a uh, Neko zombie. And that's why people don't trust her because they have already seen her evil side. So now understanding this, she used that information to protect herself and others in the hotel because she knows basically that she will never escape the hotel and she thinks that they would never let her go because of this. This is why they have never told her, the other creatures, they, ne they never told her so she can easily get frustrated and all that and they can, then, then she can do all the killing basically. Basically a bit of lazy work. So now every time a new person comes into the hotel, I'm hurting my fist by doing that, ow. Every time she comes, not her, but every time a new person comes into the hotel, um, she would befriend them, telling them what's going on like Neko Zombie did. So basically any new faces, she would obviously go and speak to them real quick before anyone else says that, oh, she's a, she's a monster sort of thing. She would quickly go up to these people and basically explain what's going on and what they should do in certain situations and telling them that they were never safe. And the last part she will tell them is that even though she has helped them, that they should really stay away from her too. Because she found something out that she didn't want to find out. And that's basically her whole entire life now. She's stuck in the hotel, she can never leave with knowing the fact that she has this inner demon uh, she doesn't even know if it has a, a mind of its own which in my case as DLC maker I would say it does and it has its own thoughts basically but it can't get out unless it's unless Shadow goes gone insane or frustrated and all that stuff but yeah that is Shadow Ghost hopefully you guys um really like shadow ghost i loved her too her background was very different from when i first made her and her looks as well especially the hair uh, the background the old background i've got for her at the start was when the inner demon could stop her from realizing or knowing its presence but i thought that was too much and decided that she does find out and it can't stop her from knowing but she can't stop it from killing, basically. Because she would always feel frustrated, insane, and all that stuff. And that's why she warns everybody. But, um, yeah. Hopefully, like I said, you enjoyed Shadow Ghost. Shadow Ghost will be uploaded into DeviantArt. And maybe, um, I know most of my DeviantArt pictures are basically all my thumbnails. I'm probably going to start doing where I have already designed all my OCs. But what I'm going to start doing is doing some pictures with the OCs, probably bits of their backgrounds. Like kind of like an illustration, not like a comic book, but just like a simple picture sort of thing. With their personality and maybe a little story sort of thing, but based on their personality as well. So, um, yeah, she will be on DeviantArt. Uh, it will all be linked down below as well. And... Um, I've gone blank. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there will be more OCs coming along. 
I know that for a fact because this is going to be, I can't remember if I said this at the start, that this is going to be a start of a series called the OC Speed Paint, where I'm going to speed paint, will draw one of my OCs in this type of style, depending what or origins they come from and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. I'll, 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 blah, 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 blah. I'll obviously do something like this as well uh, with everything where I will talk over the sweet paint with some music in the background as well. I'll obviously do this and of course I will do the voice changer thing at the start so you get a rough idea of what they might sound like but like I said with Shadow Ghost that I might change her voice a bit. It was the first time I've ever used it really so I will be mucking about with that with some other OCs and once I'm happy with the voice I'm obviously gonna write it down so I can like use it again if I'm gonna make them again but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this hope you like uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed Shadow Ghost I'll obviously type up her whole story into DeviantArt as well so you guys are not that confused and um yeah my throat is killing me right now <laughs> So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment down below if you want to, and subscribe today for more stuff like this if you want, and hit that bell button right there because you never know, I might have already uh, started to upload another OC video. You never know. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Good Eric Susie, it's out for now. Enjoy the rest of the video. in my head thoughts that i dread opinions from my friends the shit it never ends i'm sick of all these trends i'm sick of paying rent i'm sick of growing up and not just knowing how it ends so i plan with intent today i make a dent i'm gonna make it happen everything that i have dreamt and the hand i extend out like a friend to anyone who's ever felt lost in the sand yeah let's both repent forgive and forget and keep on moving forward till we do what we have said yeah we feast on the bread we eat then we're fed and we need to go shed all this doubt in our head all this cloud that i tread is now where i head but i found out instead that my voice it can spread got a choice take a breath make a noise and forget about any doubts we gon' live with every and we could just fade away into each other's lives and we could just fade away until we're all right and we could just fade away into each other's lives and we could just fade away until we're all Everyone's seen death in their dreams